Hey there folks, I am excited to talk about Panorama here a little bit. This is a game that looked really, really fun to me and I'm excited to share just a little bit about it with you. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. So this is Panorama and one thing that I think is really nice is honestly just the box and the artwork and everything. Artwork is super, super fun um, and I love that it kind of opens into this panorama shape. I think that's just clever and fun, so I like that. Uh, the other thing that I think is really nice is this rule book is actually really easy to read, quick to understand, um, how to play, all that kind of stuff, and then you get this little cheat sheet that shows you what everything does. Uh, like a lot of games, when you're first reading about it, it sounds very confusing, but once you start playing it's really, really simple to get going. Another thing I like is there is a two-player mode and a solo mode um, that you can play. And so the suits um, one to six players, I believe, which is just really, really nice. So if you're playing a game with less than six players, you're gonna take out the uh, cards that have the five and six player numbers on them. You're gonna take those out and you're going to uh, take these two decks. So these are the dawn and dusk decks, and you start with the uh, you start with dusk actually. And so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to deal one card to each uh, player if you're playing a two-player game. If not, there's a little different way you're setting up. And the basic idea of the game is you have in between yourself and each partner you have a panorama that you're trying to make. So you're actually looking at two different panoramas and you're choosing from cards that are out in the middle. Um, sorry, if you're playing a two player game, you're choosing from cards that are out in the middle. If you are playing another game than you've got, if you're playing a game with more people, then you're looking at the cards in your hands and you have to continue the panorama, it has to match. So this card here, doesn't match on the horizon. So I couldn't play that card, but I could play, oh, I couldn't play that one either. I could play this one because they both meet down, down there. And it's very easy and obvious to see if the cards match or not. So like this one right here, you can see that those two cards match really, really easily. So I love that you're building a really beautiful panorama. That's just super fun to do. Even if you're not worried about anything else, it's just a fun, beautiful game to be able to play um, and not be too intensive or anything like that. So I really, really enjoy that. The quality of these cards is really, really nice. And I love the shape because I think um, having them taller like that makes, makes it just feel like a panorama even more, which is really, really cool. So you're gonna go and you're gonna play out your entire hand. You're actually gonna play one card and then you're gonna take your hand and pass it. And so this is a game that is ever changing. You're like, oh, do I wanna play this card? Do I wanna try and save it? You can try and keep in mind um, cards that may come back to you, but really, really interesting dynamic for that. So you play one round and there's all sorts of different things, uh, different ways to get points. So this one right here, this bear, is telling you that if you have a tree on either side, you get two points for each tree that is next to that bear. This is a cliff, and so on the right side, if you have no animals, then you get, or if you have a major card, a major green card, then you get three points, and if you have any animals to the left, then you get negative two points. So pretty much every single card just shows you uh, by the symbols what it is looking for. So this moose right here, there's a little X in the orange symbol and the orange stands for animal. And so you get two points if there's no animals next to it, that kind of thing. So that is the first deck, really pretty easy and straightforward, especially when you have this right here. It tells you all of those little symbols, what they mean. And then here is the second deck. This is the Dawn deck, and you're gonna look at uh, kind of the same symbols. They Some of them are a little bit different, but they're really pretty straightforward as well. So you'll play two rounds, you count up both your hands, whoever gets the most points ends up winning the game. And there's also some little bonus things you can win here. And so uh, Eagle Eye, the most watchtowers, you know, you might get points. Uh, the most foxes, you might get some points. An animal on every card, you get 
bonus points. So there's a lot of different things that you can get bonus points for. So hopefully that gives you guys just a touch and a taste of Panorama, what this game is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.